Here we are! The grand finale marathon of Banjo-Kazooie is about to begin, so if all goes well, we're going to be finishing this game today, folks! Anyway, first thing we're going to be doing today is head down this little hole in the ice and make our way back to a Naughty's Lair. Is it here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. It's, it's even further, and as Gruntilda said, uh, this frozen water here, it doesn't hurt you like it did in Freeze Easy Peak, but it's the same thing as the polluted water from Rusty Bucket Day, where you take twice as much water. Uh, twice as much air while in that water, sorry. Anyway, here you can find... Um, if I can just get up there? Get up there! It's not even a hard jump! Jeez! Anyway, there's our second to last uh, extra honeycomb piece. There's nothing else of interest here. And uh, it was really cool. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, when uh, I was in the water, Kazooie's wings started freezing over because of the cold. Uh, when I spent uh, quite a while uh, in the water, I wonder if we're if we're going to see it again. If we do, I'm going to sure to point it out. Here we go. It's really, really neat that they actually thought, you know, to program this in the game. Uh, Kazooie's wings freezing over. Uh, uh, of course, it doesn't look as cool as it could because we're still talking about an N64 game. But by N64 standards, it's actually, really, it's a sign of well, how a lot of polish actually went into that game. And now, I'm going to eat my words, because one thing they haven't added much polish to is uh, aiming with the beat bomb. If you remember in Freeze Easy Peak, we had uh, quite a bit of trouble taking these fellows out. And uh, now, at least, I, at least I'm going one for one. This is good. Hey, here's another one over there. I'm going to be careful and aim for the hat! Are we going to do it? Yeah! I guess the trick is to wait until he's thrown his snowball, so that um, so that I so that the, uh, he doesn't move his hat around as much. And okay, now let's just kill all these. Then I'll head uh, into Mumbo's house. I'm not sure if there's anything like a Jinjo or something like that ow in uh, Mumbo's house, but it doesn't hurt to at least take a look. If I remember, Mumbo himself isn't here because. He went down to Florida for the winter, presumably to get the suntan he can't get because he has no skin. Yeah, Mumbo's on vacation. So, there are only a few red feathers up here, so I'm not even going to bother with the rest. Uh, by the way, spe uh, while, while, while I'm um, in this area, you know, beak bombing snowmen... Uh, whoa! I heard a Jinjo! There's a Jinjo somewhere here! Yep! It's on top of Mumbo's skull! Good good thing I heard it! Good thing I heard it, otherwise I completely would have missed it and I would have looked for it forever and ever. Anyway, this is our last Jinjo! Which gives us our second to last uh, Jiggy in uh, Click Clock Wood. We only have to uh, meet... Uh, apparently it's pronounced Eerie, not Irie, or even Airy as, as my second guess would have been. Anyway, we're back to uh, beat bombing the shit out of Snowman. Yes! Awesome! Uh, by the way, I want to apologize because remember uh, when I was pressing those switches on the cranes in Rusty Bucket Bay, I accidentally called the beat barge the beat bomb. What I'm doing right now, this is the beat bomb. You see? This! That's the beat bomb. The beat barge is what I used to press those switches. And, um, okay, we got some more up here. So, um, yeah, there are a lot of moves that, uh, start with beak, like, No! 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 Oh my god! Ah, oh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to fly back there again. But, uh, as I was about to say, there are a lot of moves that start in beak. You got the beak barge, the beak buster, the beak... Bomb, and in Banjo Tooie, you have the big bayonet as well. Oh man, what the fuck was I thinking? I was like, you know, I was just about to press A in order to gain some height and uh, maybe nail that snowman while I was uh, 
gaining height. That was the plan at least, but um, didn't work out so well because I hit that platform and uh, slid off of it. Anyway, free... Uh, whoa! Whoa! Don't fall again! Free gold feather. I'm gonna take it. Is there anything else... Over there, some notes, maybe? No, just another gold feather. Nah, you know what? Screw it. I, I, I don't want to take a minute just to walk carefully on the ice, no less, and get, uh, get a frig, get a friggin' gold feather. That's just too much trouble. Besides, I have 16. I think 16 is gonna be, is gonna last me until, uh, I can get another full refill, which is going to happen before the end of the game, I promise. Anyway, shut up! Eerie, or Irie, or whatever the fuck your name is! I'm getting to you, eventually! Uh, now, this area here has the beehive in winter. If I believe, yeah, it's all broken and stuff, but there's a mumbo token here. Now, I'm gonna try and make my way back up there without falling again. Let's see if this is doable. Oh, wow! I actually did it! Didn't look like I had, like I had much of a chance, but... Um, Still. Anyway, um, yeah, I said I would, uh, take down those, uh, last remaining, uh, snowmen. Um, I believe there is a flight pad near Nabnut's house, so I'm gonna be using that one to, uh, not waste too many... Excuse me! Not waste too many red feathers, I guess. Is there anything around the, the around this little hut? doesn't look like it. There's only that uh, beehive with no bees to attack me if I took their honey. But uh, it doesn't really matter because um, I guess I'm full in terms of energy. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with Kazooie for this one because uh, she's got a lot more traction than uh, Banjo. Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 Okay! Okay. But, uh, by the way, I didn't remember that there was a snowman there, so I guess uh, that's uh, two snowmen left to kill. There's this one over there and the one that's guarding the witch witch. Which, by the way, the witch witch in this world um, makes um, a Jiggy appear very high up. You're actually going to need the B transformation in order to get that Jiggy. So, yeah. so once I'm done with uh, the winter section, I'm going to head back to uh, the spring one and... Uh, transform back into a bee so that I can uh, get that Jiggy, and, uh, what the hell? It's like I completely stopped, and then I did a second beat bomb, and I bounced off of it, but, oh, well, that was, that was sort of weird. Not the bouncing, but rather what happened before. Now, let's just kill this, and yeah, I believe this was the last snowman in the area. So let's just pound that witch switch. And make that Jiggy appear, as I said, very high up, so the bee transformation is needed. So now, I'm going to have to climb the tree again, so I guess I'll see you near Nadna's house once I get there. Okay, we're now at Nadna's house. You have to uh, bust that window in order to get it in winter. And uh, inside Nadna's house in winter, there is the last secret egg, so now we have all seven secret items. And we also have some feathers, some eggs, oh, well, whatever. Oh, and look, <laughs> Nadnut has a girlfriend sleeping with him. How cute. Now, there were a few notes on that platform where the, the snowman was, and the snowman was guarding an extra life as well. Completely useless to me, but oh well, if you still want extra lives at this point, here's one for you. And this, I believe, is the last Mumbo token in the game, and I almost fell off trying to retrieve it. Yep, we're up to 40 Mumbo tokens, which means every single one of them has been obtained in this entire game. And speaking of which, uh, we're also going to acquire the last extra honeycomb piece in the game. And it's located in Nadnut's attic. You're gonna see, yep, there's a second window here. You wanna big bomb it and then head inside and, uh... Oh, great. No, no, no! No, 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 no! For the love of God! Ugh. Okay, take two. At least the window is busted, so all that's left to do is actually head inside like this. And uh, we are going to end up in the Nadnut's attic, which is 
really, really full of acorns, so I guess those six acorns we picked up for him weren't actually needed at all. Oh, well, at least we got a jiggy out of the deal. Now, where is that? Uh, oh, there it is. As I said, final extra honeycomb piece in the game. And since I already have uh, eight health units, it does absolutely nothing, even though the... The, even though the health meter, meter appears uh, as though it prepares to be extended, that is not the case. You stay at eight at eight units of life. Now, uh, okay, the last few notes I guess are over here. Anyway, looks like that caterpillar diet uh, paid off. Look at our giant eagle friend. Watch me as I fly into the sky. Eerie, ready for liftoff. Fly, giant eagle, fly! Oh my god! Did you hear that? He actually shit out the jiggy! You heard the same uh, farting sound as when uh, Kazooie farts an egg. Oh, I don't want- I don't want- I don't want to pick up, but... Uh, at, the, at the same time, I have to because this is 100% completion. Anyway... I'm missing eight notes. I, I guess they're all in this area. No. Doesn't look like it. Looks like I'm still going to be missing four or five notes. Oh, great. Where are those notes? I honestly have no idea. I think I checked everywhere I could have possibly checked. Oh, there's a, another gold feather here. I'm honestly all out of ideas. Maybe they're in there, but only in winter? I don't know. No. Doesn't look like it. Well, this can only mean one thing. To Game Facts! Well, guess where they were? The one place where I actually didn't look. They're right on the roof of this hut. So now I got every note in the game, so I can head back to the spring section in order to transform into a B to get the very last G in the game as well. Looks like I'm gonna take some damage here, yeah. Ow! And with that, we are done with the final world in this game. Now let's mosey on over there to get the final Jiggy going to have all 100 Jiggies after that. Ten in each of the nine worlds. Ten in Gruntilda's lair. We now have achieved 100% completion as far as item collecting goes. Now let's just head down there. There's a note door. You didn't see it, but it took 765 notes in order to unlock. This may seem like an oddly arbitrary number, but what it actually means is that you need an average of 85 notes per world. That's simply what this number means. Now, what now that the last world is done, we're about to head into, in my opinion, the coolest part in the game! Welcome! to Grunty's Furnace Fun! You might have been expecting a boss battle or something, but that's going to only happen later, after this is done. But for now, we're going to be tested on the game. We played it. We collected everything. But did we master Banjo-Kazooie? This is what we're going to be taking a look at in this next segment as I'm going to be asked a barrage of questions about this game. Uh, my previous experience with this game is of course going to be helping a lot. And if I manage to win this game show, I'm going to get Tootie back! So, yeah, I don't know why she doesn't keep her or something like that. Maybe she's just... she just enjoys making quizzes so much, which is why uh, she does it again in Banjo-Tooie, although in a slightly different format. Uh, by the way, that board may look intimidating, but the only condition that you need to meet is get to Gruntilda. You don't need to answer every question on every square. Now, let's wake up this cauldron. I'm just going to save the video I have recorded up until now, and I'll be right back in a few minutes. <laughs> 